everybody and thank you for joining us on another video here at Staying Kingdom Minded. So today I just wanted to very impromptu style take a moment just to talk with you. No video notes, no video specific scriptures, just a thought that I wanted to share. So the other day I was scrolling through my newsfeed on Facebook and I saw a friend of mine had posted a comment and said something about hands and what she was doing with her hands and how she wanted to make sure she was using her hands to do something for the kingdom of God. And today, just coming back from a piano lesson and a drum lesson for my middle son, I am too thinking about our hands. And I just wonder if you've ever taken a moment to really look at your hand. If you just really take a moment and look at it and think to yourself, what have I done so far? in my life with my hands. What have my hands touched? What did they not touch, but I wish that they could have? Now this can be in a flesh sense, um, in a physical sense, or specifically a spiritual sense. What have I done so far for the kingdom of God to encourage it, to uplift it, to support it? Have I taken on the mission of spreading the gospel the way that the Bible tells me to? Have I talked to people about God? Have I shared my testimony? Have I invited people to church? I think about my hands and I think about learning to play the piano and I think about trying to skillfully learn to play that instrument for the uplifting of God to help in a church service to usher in his spirit, to get people praising and worshiping the one true God. I just think about my hands and I just get really excited because the possibilities are endless. The things that we can do with our hands. Just take a moment and think, what is it that you want to do but you haven't done yet? And know that it's not too late. It's not too late to build. It's not too late to play. It's not too late to learn. It's never too late to take a step in the direction of being kingdom minded. See, I think about sometimes at work, I work with the elderly population and sometimes I look at their hands and I think, oh, the meals that this lady made for her family out of love. Oh, how she served her church how she was faithful with those hands trying to build up her husband. I think about all the love that she poured out in her lifetime. And I think, God, let me build. God, let me play. God, let me be used in your kingdom. If only just to take these hands, God, even for just a moment, and lift them towards the heavens and praise the creator of heaven and earth even if that's what I do each day, day in and day out, if I don't play an instrument, if I don't sing at church, if I don't get a chance to travel the globe and be a missionary, if I don't do some of the things that I've dreamed of doing, if I raise my hands and praise to God, then that is me doing something to uplift the kingdom. So today I would just ask you to think about your hands. Think about what you want to do. Think about what you can do, the skill, the ability that the Lord has given you. Let's reach, let's reach out and touch somebody with these hands. Let's take these hands and pray for people. Let's take these hands and raise them in praise. Let's take these hands and help the needy. Let's be encouraged. Let's join together in this mission of reaching the lost souls for the kingdom. Think about Jesus' hands on that cross and the love that he had for us. Think about what he did with his hands and think to yourself the whole cliche thing that is pretty cute, I think. WWJD. Think about what would Jesus do and then 
Get in your word and take your hands and flip those pages and read what did Jesus do. And that will prompt you and remind you and encourage you to find out what it is that God wants you to do with your hands for his kingdom. Thank you very much for joining another episode or video or thought-provoking moment on staying kingdom-minded. Thank you very much for joining. If you haven't already, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up with your hands. And we look forward to seeing you again. Thank you so much and have a blessed day.